Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be fitting these Magura E-Stop brakes. Uh, I'm going to be fitting the front one today. I've already done the rear one. Probably should have got a video of me doing that. But um, I will show you how to route the rear brake through the bike and stuff. So yeah. So yeah, obviously the first thing you want to do is take the front brake off. I've already done that here. And then I'm going to lay it out on the floor. And then I can measure the new hose against that. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is put the brake lever onto the bars. Um, it comes with this silver clamp for there, but I think I'm going to use the one that comes with the stock ones. And keep it all black, look a little bit better. So yeah, once you've got that on there, you want to lift that up so that the lever is pointing upwards. To be honest, I think that's probably going to be alright. I don't really need to tighten those up. Oh, not really moving them around. So yeah, leave that there. So next, you're going to want to cut the brake hose. Um, I'm going to cut it about here. So you've got a little bit of room in between the lever and where you're cutting it. Now I'm cutting it with scissors. I would highly recommend you don't use scissors. Um, they're not very accurate. I just don't have any cable cutters. So cut that nice and straight. I'm just going to squeeze that a little bit and make sure that it's nice. Nice circle shape. So yeah, you're going to want to leave that like that, sticking up in the air, which will then mean no brake fluid comes out of here, obviously due to gravity. <laughs> so yeah, just marked where I want to cut it, and cut that now. Don't use scissors, it's not very accurate. Just going to put that little plug in the end there to stop any air coming out like that, and then all of that is just waste. Be a little bit careful with the ends because obviously the brake fluid will come out. Oh, yeah, as you can see, it's just tripped out there. So, I'm just going to want to take that off first, and then we're obviously going to use that again Oh, for the new brakes. And then this one comes off with an 8mm spanner. If I can do it the right way, it might help. Just make sure that the uh, the brake lever is sitting upright and to kind of see a one turn. And that will come out. And then again, that this, you want to use it for reattaching the brake. Probably recommend putting on some gloves as well. Probably should have put some on um, before, but yeah. <laughs> so you're going to now want to attach um, the bob and the olive to the end of the brake hose we've cut. So I'm just going to take that little plug out of there. And then this little bob, this little pin thing is going to want to go in, in there. And push that in as far as it will go, but you might need. Oh, yeah, that's gone in there, right? There's a special tool you can get to do that, but obviously, I don't have one. So, yeah, once you've got the little bob in there, 
that's going to want to go on first and then that and then you want to get your little olive and that just goes over there like that you can see the the order it goes into so yeah now you're going to want to put that into there get that in there just going to wipe this down a little bit I've got a little bit of brake fluid in the cable um, isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol is really good for getting off the brake fluid and then with the 8 mm spanner I just want to tighten this up so now that's on there I also just want to put that back on like that so yeah that's all joined up there nicely now So now it's nice and simple. Just want to take these two brake blocks out, and then you can literally just fit that. Should yep, there you go. Onto your rotor, like so. I'm just going to bolt that on now quickly. So I'm actually going to use the stock bolts, um, as they're a hex or Allen key head, and the ones that come with the Magura brakes. Um, is a star nut. I don't think you call them that in America. I'm not sure what you guys call them, but over here we call it a star nut. Um, we just get Allen keys over here mainly, so it's a little bit easier. It's a five mil Allen key in there. See so yeah, onto the rotor like that. I'm just going to finger tighten this first one here. Oh, I'll do it like that. Just to keep it in place. A really awkward angle there, so it's not the easiest. I'm just going to loosen those off ever so slightly, and then I can set the caliper onto the rotor. And to set the caliper on the rotor, um, you just want the bolts done up about finger tight on there, and then if you pull the lever in a few times and then hold it. It'll centre the caliper and then you can tighten these bolts up, he says, all while keeping the brake lever pressed in. Once again I'm at a really awkward angle here, I can't even see the, the hole, oh there we go. So yeah, that's how you fit the Magura brakes to a Suron without having to re-bleed the brakes. So yeah, I'll just quickly show you how to thread the rear brake cable through the bike. That's the cable there, so it comes down, we'll see through there, it goes under this battery tray here, and then it comes out just in between there, and obviously down onto there. Um, there's a few bolts inside here. So like one there, one there, and there's a couple in these corners. I think you probably do want to take those off first. And then if you stick a screwdriver in there, you can prise that up. I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's going in the shade. I don't know if you can see the... Oh uh, yeah, just about the brake cable going through there. So you can prise that up. 
and then you'd be able to fit the cable through there, go through there, and then obviously come out there. So yeah, thanks for watching people, and I'll be back with another video very soon.